and a good evening to all of you here listening to WWSP Stevens Point 90 FM, your only alternative. And on SBTV's YouTube channel, you are listening slash watching to Pointers Basketball, the regular season finale between the number 17 ranked in the nation, UW Oshkosh Titans, and the UW Stevens Point Pointers. Hello. Yeah. Hello there. My name is Ashton Parker. As you, as you can tell, we're mixing things up. But we are mixing things up a little bit for this regular season finale. As you can say, Will, if you are a loyal listener here, Will is usually the play-by-play -play guy. We're mixing things up. I am going to be your Ash, me, Ashton is going to be your play-by-play, -play, and with me to help on color is Brody Kupski. Brody, how you doing today? I am doing fine tonight, and Will is on camera for us tonight, so props to Will Harrelson on camera tonight. So, uh, you know, it's good to be here. It's good to see Pointers basketball, especially since it's the regular season finale, and uh, hopefully it ends good, but who knows? That's, all, that's what we're all hoping for. Uh, you know, we're hoping for that today as you get into some pregame storylines. We have, in the last 10 games, UW Oshkosh has taken the, uh, taken the eight to two overall, with UW Oshkosh actually winning the last eight games in a row. Yeah, that, that's very insane. And it's a credit to their program that they have at Oshkosh. You know, they're a stud program and they keep getting better each year. I'll say you should mention a great program. They, they just recently won their second uh, Wyack regular season in a row, going 12 and one in Wyack play. Obviously, before today, we don't know if it's going to be either 13 one or hey, if Point can pull off an upset here, it, anything is possible in college basketball. Yeah, right. It, really, anything can be possible, and you'd hope for the best for the Pointers. But the way that Oshkosh has been playing, you know, it's it's going to be a tough game for the Pointers. Uh, of course, it is. So take a look at UW Oshkosh. There's some of the leading stats. You have Levi Brocker is uh, leading the um, leading the Titans in terms of points per game with 15.2 points per game off of 52% field goal shooting and averaging actually a double double with 10 rebounds a game as well. Obviously, it seems like they're he's their star player, but Hunter Plumman is not far behind, scoring 14.6 points with 46% field goal shooting. And you have Eric Peterson rounding up with 11.2 points per game. And then just rounding it up, you have Quinn, uh, Quinn Steichenbauer and Cole Booth um, averaging 10.3 and 7.8 respectfully. Not, not a bad, you know, not a bad stat line for those guys, and they definitely lead their team well in terms of scoring uh, compared to a pointers team like this. But, uh, you know, it, it'll be a tough game stopping those guys, especially Beauchart. Um, you know, he's a tough player to uh, play in the post, and he, he's shown that he can score. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, just looking at Oshkosh, just a little deeper here. They're coming off a 23-4 and regular. Um, uh, last season, they went 23-4. and They won both the Wyatt regular and postseason tournament, and they lost in the second round of the tournament last year. So they're really looking to try and obviously do better because off of that record, you would think they just maybe just a little better, but losing in the second round of the NCAA tournament, it just really shows why that tournament is such it's such a wild card, I guess, because you think because it's not usually just the best team is going to win the tournament. So many things can happen. I exactly. And that's why you got Cinderella stories every year in uh, any form of college basketball, whether it's uh, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, whatever the case might be. You always have those uh, Cinderella stories that lead the way. And, you know, teams like Oshkosh, you know, they could fall in the first or second round just because of a Cinderella story, whoever. Yeah, of course. All right, let's switch things over to the pointers here because this is, we are from Stevens Point, that is. We have Jake Buchanan obviously leading it. Leading it. He's been leading the points per uh, game category four point pretty much all season with 13.2 points per game off of 42% shooting. And you have Zach Moots, the senior. This senior night is his last, uh, well, I think it's going to be his last home um, well, basketball ch game. Good four. chance that it is. Uh, and it, it thanks to Zach Moots for uh, being the leader on the team the last few years now and uh, hopefully he goes out well here. Yeah, I'm hoping so too. Then you have AJ Makinen with 8.5, Brent Timmon, uh, Brendan Timmon with 7.8 and Josiah Gilly with 6.8. I am personally, I'm a big fan of Gilly. I think uh, I, I'm a big fan of this team personally. You know, last year, you know, <laughs> point, point fans don't really want to think about last year. They went three, it was like three. They only got they three went four wins. And, yeah, they went four and 17 overall. Uh, three only won three games in the regular season. Was able didn't win a single wire game in the regular season. Was able to win one against Stout in the playoffs. But you know, they're I would say this season's pretty much a success because they are now. Oh man, make sure they they have at least they're three and ten currently in Wyack play. And you know, I think three and ten not great. They're seventh in the Wyack, but they were they were. <laughs> 
they were supposed to, they were um, in the preseason they were supposed to finish eighth people thought but they were able to you know I think they're scrape together a few wins and uh yep. it, it, and it looks better for them obviously you would hope for a way better season but you know we'll take it as a pointers fan watching them go three and whatever in the regular season and all of a sudden get an upset win against Stout um you know, it's, it's, it's good seeing it. That's you're exactly right. I 100% agree with you here. I'm very happy to see. It seems like Stout bit our bad luck because Stout's he's actually the person that we're above in the Wyack right now. They're currently five and oh man, I think it's like five and five fifteen, and five, five and, and 18. eighteen, and one and twelve. They are just struggling. And, and here. currently they're playing Eau Claire, and it's they're down at halftime too. Yeah, so things are not looking good for Stout, but we want to focus on things over here in Stevens Point as we're about 30 seconds away from tip off. We're gonna let you guys listen to the uh, national anthem here and we're going to uh, just take a little bit of break see we'll, right before tip off we'll talk about starting lineups and we'll get to see you guys thank you for listening to WSP pointers basketball here see you in a little bit back here at um, Bennett Court here in the Corn Fieldhouse and Brody what are you I uh, know last game of wide season last game of regular season what are you looking for what do you want to see from this point team in this last game so you would hope that they just win this game because obviously you know you hope the best for the pointers but uh it, it's going to be a tough game if they do uh play you know, they play they play a Titans team that's you know they're very tough but you know you'd hope for the best for them of course, and you know, we hope for the best employee. This team has talent as we are going to starting lineups here. All right, for UW Oshkosh, starting off, we have Eric Peterson, the six foot three uh, senior from Baltavia, Illinois. Then we have number two, Hunter Plowman from Appleton, Wisconsin, six foot senior. Number 12, Joseph. Uh, Jonah Reins, uh, Reins this shot, if I butcher that, six foot eight sophomore. Number 20, Quinn Steckenbauer, uh, six, foot se uh, six foot senior from Merrill. And finally, number 30, Le uh, Levi Borchert uh, from, Ki uh, from Kimberly, Wisconsin, six foot five senior. And now your starting line for Stevens Point. It's looking like it's going to be number two, Zach Moot, six foot two senior from Merrill, Wisconsin. We got number three, Jack, Jake Buchanan, the six foot junior from Kimberly. You have AJ Makinen, the six foot junior from Waterford, Wisconsin. Number, it's looking like number 12, Miles Coleman, the six foot three sophomore from Milwaukee. Recent transfer, first year here at Stevens Point. And then we have number 23, Josiah Gilly, the six foot five freshman from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Not a tall lineup tonight for the pointers, but uh, hopefully they can just do something against this Oshkosh team to kind of limit them in scoring. But uh, 
it, it's going to be a tough game tonight for the pointers tonight. I absolutely agree. What point? I, well, from what I can see, what point is best at? They start off the game really, really well. No matter what the opponent is, they always give them a run for the money. And personally, I'm looking for. I'm looking forward to the finish the game here. They have a really hard time in that second half. They seem to struggle a bit. They let their opponent get back in. And I'm really looking forward to see if they can see if they can have a lead and just hold that throughout. You're you're definitely right about that. They gotta just they gotta finish their games out. You could start out great in the first half, but if you just falter in the second half, it's not gonna work out for you guys, and that's why they've kinda lost games. Yeah, I absolutely agree. So we're getting ready for tip off. Looking like it's gonna be Josiah Gilly and we got Jonah uh, uh, Ryan Fleisch for uh, Rimfleisch. You Rimfleisch. know, actually, Sorry, fun man. fact, that's a German for beef. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, a okay. fun fact. I'm, I'm going to rely on you for pronunciations tonight, <laughs> then. As we get ready to tip off, going to UW Oshkosh, and we have Hunter Plotman bringing it up, passing it over to, passing it over to uh, Quinn Steichenbauer, number 30, taking it out the wing, trying to find one, to cut in. And we're gonna take it as deep three. It's bit off and Josiah Gilly with the rebound. Hunter Plotman just a little off there, a little deep from the wing. As Hunter, Miles Coleman brings it up. And here comes Zach Moots of Senior driving in. Really pushing up. Josiah Gilly behind the free throw line. That's good for two. That's a tough shot to take, but he he can hit those. Absolutely. As there, Askosh is is going to a good cut in there from Eric Peterson. That's gonna be an easy bucket there for the Titans. And it's fired up quickly. Yeah, it's a quick offense, kind of like a 13-second offense you got here. So, uh, I absolutely agree. Here comes Miles Coleman from the wing. Got, got Zach Lewis. He's gonna take it himself, driving it. Good, nice move. Oh, just barely misses the finger roll. And here comes UW UW Ashkosh Titans. They get a deep three here, and that's good for three. That is Steichenbauer. They were definitely hitting them before the game. I was noticing that. Yeah, they were shooting hot from it. Here comes Josiah Gilly. You got making in, driving in. Finds Coleman off the side for three. Oh, just a little strong. But Josiah Gilly with the board. He's going to take it himself. Oh, that's going to be a travel. Yep, get that every time. I like, if, I like if, what he was doing there. If, if he didn't stop his dribble there, I think he would have had it. He definitely had the size advantage, but uh, as a... <laughs> Yeah, Oshkosh, Oshkosh is moving up the court. Yeah, going quick. Just two. The sides just to get two quick passes in there. And here's Peterson from the left wing, cutting in, finding, finding second power on site. Oh, and there's a good cut in, and there's an easy bucket for Oshkosh. Too quick offense right now from Oshkosh. Yeah, definitely without question. I mean, they're very really quick with this offense and uh, looking the score right away. Yeah, seven two. It just seemed like currently it's all Oshkosh. Just a three from Moots. And that's going to be a little off, a little outside there. And here comes the Titans. Got your Eric Peterson driving in. Stop, good defense there. Finding uh, Borchett. Trying to push up against Gilly right now. Take it himself, gonna take it over, and it's gonna be short, but they get the rebound. And take it back outside. Here comes Nick Bauer. No, not good. Oh, but with the rebound. And there was that second chance points right there. Didn't have to do much there. He just kind of stood there and put it up. I mean, when you're 6'8", it's kind of helpful. Yeah, you're able to just do that. Here comes Coleman. Going left wing, going to the center. Here comes Zach Moots, trying to make a move, trying to drive in. Isn't able to find anyone. Kicks it off to making it. Your Miles Coleman from beyond the free throw, and that's good for two. There is Miles Coleman. And here comes Oshkosh just going quick. They are not letting up on this offense right now. And why not? I mean, you got you got the offense to do it. Absolutely, I agree. You you have the talent, you have the skill. Why not just push it down your opponent's throat? Here comes good move there. There's a three shot by second power, and that's good for three. Oh, Titans off to a quick start here. Twelve points in just over three minutes. If it's going to be like this all night, points are going to have a rough, it's rough that, night. From what it seemed like, that was the last game, too. They were able to just start off a good run. Here's three from Buchanan. It's going to be a little short there. And here comes Plowman. They're going to slow it down a little bit. Oh, well, finds a pass. Oh, good defense there by Coleman. Here comes transition time. Transition offense. Finds Moots in the wing. Oh, and just a bit off. And there is Borchette with the board. Here comes the Titans slowing it down, but no, they're not. Just driving in quick, and there's a foul, and it's just barely off right now. Oshkosh, though, with a 
electric start. Uh, no question about it. I mean, that, that's just kind of their offense this year. You know, they're they're quick down the floor and they're they can score at will, really. Yeah, he's got first free throws now for Steichenbauer. First free throws up and it is good. Nothing but net there. We have two substitutions coming in for a point. We have Ryan Genrich and Brennan Tim coming in for Stephen Point for Josiah Gilly. And it looks like Buchanan. Buchanan, yup. All right, second free throw coming up now for Stike Bauer. It's up and it's good. Goes two for two on that trip, and that's going to be a 14 to four lead now for Titans. But here comes, here comes making in. Point really needs to start getting something now. In the wing is Coleman. Coming up behind him is Moot. Trying to find something, but this perimeter defense from Oshkosh is electric. Good to find it, try to find it in. Mid-range shot from Moose is good. That's a two-point. That mid-range is going really well yeah, right now. Yeah, I was going to say, mid-range is really hitting for the points tonight. Here comes Plumman. Finds a good cut there. And it's going to be an easy board there for Eric Peterson. Good shot. Drove in. Strong finish. And here comes. And here comes the pointers. They're trying to match the speed. Oh, but loses the handles. Miles Coleman loses the handles there. And there comes Oshkosh. About 15-32 left to play in this half. Just a lot of points right now for just little time has passed. It comes with corner three is gonna be a little off. Rattles in and out. That was Tim Steckenbauer with the three. And with a point, Miles Coleman. Ooh, thought about it for a second, make it in, but drives in instead, finishes it for a clean two-point basket and possibly a start. That's definitely a good bucket out of Mekin in there. Good pass oh, down good low, pass. wow. That was a great backdoor pass. Was able to still plop it in there. This is not bad defense, but it was just a really great pass there from Oshkosh. Yeah, no question about it. Oh, this train bug for Bucket, that's not good for point. Here comes Coleman off the side, trying to see if he can find an opening at all. Brent Tim up top. And yeah, not really know if he's three for sure, but good move there. Going to make it in, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Brent Tim finishes it for the Bucket. It is 18 to 10 now. Oshkosh, and you got Steckbauer passing it up to uh, Reins uh, ah, Rindfleisch. Rindfleisch, thank you, I appreciate that. Good move there. Oh, pivot foot, and it's going to find the basket. That's Hunter Plowman. It's a tough bucket. Yeah, it's a great, that's, that's a very tough bucket. Just able to pivot around a little bit. He confronts him in from the wing, driving in, challenging, and that is going to be a travel, yes. Try to get the body there, but just just couldn't find it there. And, it and that is going to be what well, looks like a timeout. It's going to be a good time to... Uh, Catch up a little bit now. You know what are you what are you seeing right now, Brody? So what I'm seeing right now is that I mean Oshkosh is just bringing up the floor and just no no kill switch there. You, I mean they're just going up the court, putting up a three and bang. You know it, it, it's going to be tough for the pointers to stop that if they're not ready defensively. I mean you could score a bucket and you know feel good about yourself, but you got to get down on the other end and try to defend. Yeah, they're just trading bucket for bucket right now. We've been we, it's been about six minutes and the score's already 20 to 10. The, <laughs> it's crazy. Missed. Yeah, they have not missed really. I mean, from three, they I don't think they've really missed, and they're good. They're good getting down low and uh, finding those guys. Yeah, no, I, I agree, and you know, it's, it seems like a rather normal start for Stevens Point. The offense hasn't been the, like the offense hasn't been the strongest point for Stevens Point. They've done better, and I definitely think the three point shot has been better for Stevens Point overall. And they've been, but they, I don't think they've really made a three point shot yet. They've been. I don't Even think they've short. hit one. Yeah, I don't think so either. And you know, from what we've noticed from the season, that's the real crypt night, is that if a team is able to shut down points three-point shot, then they're just going to have a rough day overall on the offensive end. It definitely. It, if you can't hit the three, it's not going to help you in the long run, and then you're just not going to score. That's true. All right. Coming in now. Seems like we got a couple substitutions for Oshkosh. Seems like they pretty much revamped their whole lineup. You have number 34, Jake Jorgensen. Uh, Plotman is still in. We got number, uh, Borcha is still in. We have Will Mahoney from Appleton is in as well. And you have number four, Reed Gunnick as well. All right, take it up to center court. We got Carter Thompson, or Thomas, my fault. From the wing, finding open shot there, but he's not gonna take it, driving in instead. 
Good perimeter defense right for point. Oh, and it's gonna be called a foul there on number 33, Luke Warden, who substituted for Steven Troy off of the timeout. Tried to get around, tried to poke the ball out, but got a bit too much contact on that. Yeah, definitely, and that's not gonna help him, but he has been playing well defensively, especially against that stout, de or that stout team. They, oh, Ooh. quick, oh, it's just a little short. Oh, and what a heads up play there from Oshkosh. That, that's a good play out of him, and uh, well, like I was saying before, Warden played really well defensively against that stout team, but uh, just not not a good move there. Yeah, just trying to lob it up, wasn't able to get it, but Borchett was able to hit it off of the Steven's point of defender before it went out of bounds, so it's gonna be Titans ball. Three point shot there is going to be a little strong from Mahoney, and it's gonna be pointer ball. This is the opportunity now for a bucket to try and see if they can get, uh, try to cut this lead down, just back to single digits. Here come making a step back three from the wing is a little short. And it's going, Warden try, almost got the rebound, but it's going to be Titan ball. And here comes the offense, going quick, deep three from Plavin is money. Oh, that was just absolute cash. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, that's just a, what this team is. They can cash the three from deep. They were right. Here comes T Tim driving in, make it in from the center court, finds Benrich. Oh, and a bad pass there from Tim is going to be a turnover for point. And Oshkosh has the ball. Oh, found a cut. Good pass there, and it's going to be a foul on Stevens Point. Wow. Yeah, just quick up the floor, like we said before, and if the Pointers want any chance at being close in this game, they got to stop those quick drives. They got to, yeah, they have to. It's, it's been all gas for Stevens Point. Or if not for Stevens Point, for Oscar. That's my fault. Because we have two substitutions for Stevens Point. We got Miles Coleman and Jake Buchanan back in. Here comes Oscar. Try to get in, and that is going to be a kickball. They're going to try again. Let's do that again. All right, we have Mahoney throwing it in for Oshkosh. Finds Borchette, sizing up Warden. Oh, good pivot move, good move, and that's gonna be a bucket. Borcher being a senior, that really helps that, you know, the experience against a freshman like Warden. Yeah, you're right. Here comes Coleman from the wing, trying to drive up. Buchanan has the ball. Tried to step back there, thought about three, tried to against it. Just suffocating perimeter defense right now from Oshkosh. Finds Coleman on the side, so on the wing. Nice seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, five seconds left. Buchanan has the ball, driving in. Deep three is no good, goes off the rim. That was number 14, Landon Velcaster for point. A little, a little left on that three point shot. The point's having a little bit of a drought now. This is probably one of the worst times. It's a three, a little strong, but a good board there by Borchette. Off the wing, driving in is Mahoney. And that's an and one for Mahoney. Good drive there, as it is 20, I think it's 27-10. I mean, 27-10 it is. And it's just, this game has barely started. I mean, it, it's just a credit to UW Oshkosh's offense, just quick up the floor and getting buckets and uh, drawing fouls too. You're right. For the end one right now is Will Mahoney. Josiah gives sub back in for Warden for the pointers. Oh, the shot is up and is good. It is now 28-10. Yes, 28-10. Sorry about that. Here comes Miles Coleman on the right wing. Screen up from Gilly. Try to roll a bit. Is able to find anyone. Here comes Moose though driving in. Taking a bit of a fadeaway, and it's gonna be a little short. It's Oshkosh coming up the court now. Here comes Mahoney. Complete wide open right side. She's taking the three. It's a little short. At this point, you, hey, you're allowed just to throw those up. Why not? See yeah, exactly. Happens. Here comes Coleman, though. Trying to make a move. It's gonna be a foul there on Oshkosh. First one of the half for them. Yeah, that, and that's the thing about Oshkosh. They're really good at not falling and winning the foul, uh, falling game, but, uh, you know, if the opponents want any chance, they gotta try to draw fouls and try to get shots, good shots. Yep. All right, here comes Buchanan up top. Now Coleman on the side. Screen there from Moots. Isn't able to get anything. He's in the corner trying to make a move, and Coleman's gonna be a little off, and that's gonna be a rebound for Oshkosh. Another missed opportunity now for Stevens Point as there's Eric Peterson passing off to Gunnick down the court. In the corner right now is Mahoney. Trying to drive in, good move, and is able to find a basket. That is Mahoney making a 
impact off the bench. Here comes Tim. It was Van Kalster trying to make a move. Step back, oh, fade away, my fault. It was just a little off there, a little strong. Here comes the Titans, there's Carter Thomas. Driving in, Eric Peterson. Taking Val Kalster, driving in, is able to find one. Wow, this, and there's a timeout. From this has gotten out of hand for it's, the pointers. This is getting out of hand. And you, it, it's not pretty for the pointers right now, but uh, speaking of other pointers scores, uh, UW Oshkosh women's basketball has beaten pointers 24-5. Just uh, I don't know if that's the type of update I we've mean, been looking for. I mean, kind of the thing we've been seeing all night, but uh, you know, it, 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 it's tough for the pointers tonight. It's hard to play against a Titans team like this, and I mean, it's kind of expected, but you want to make a good showing in the end of at the end of the season. Yeah, it's, it's the end of the regular season. You're hoping that you know, they can hopefully pump a fight. And still a lot of game left to go. It's 10:26 like left in the first half, but you're down 22. So what do you do here? You just got to try to limit the falls. Just try to try to find good buckets. I mean, Oshkosh's defense has been suffocating you guys, and you can't seem to do anything. You're right. I, I just think. I, I also think, it, again, like I said earlier, one of the main kryptonites of Stephen Point is the fact that if you, they don't really have that paint presence that other teams have. So if you limit their three-point shot, they're going to have a rough night overall. And that's a, that's the way it's looking tonight. Definitely. And here comes making him up center court. Big outside is Moot. It's Tim. Finds Buchanan. Going up top. Macon in. Trying to find anything. Oh, and Josiah Gilly fumbles it. And that's going to be a t another turnover for Stevens Point. That's just the mistake you can't make. Yeah, exactly. And here comes Oshkosh, finding Mahoney on the side. Up top now, passing it right back to Mahoney. Makes a move, Eurostep, corners Peterson. And that's money from Peterson. That was just a no-look pass by Mahoney. And that, I mean, him being a senior, that really, really shows out. Yeah, definitely. They're just showing that veteran, just that skill right there. It's all about shooting three, and there's another turnover from Stephen Point. I think he tried to look for Brennan Tim cutting low, but just off his back foot, couldn't get it. Yeah, this game is starting to get just a little out of hand now. And here comes Plowman. Oh, good backdoor pass, and there's a good, that's an easy bucket there for Steckbauer. And here comes the pointer, trying to do anything. Oh, and they're not looking. Tim, that could have been another turnover, but thankfully Moose was there. Bit of a Push off and it just misses from mid range. Point is just having a drought of droughts right now. Just can't find anything. At a time when you need it most, when you're down by 27, they're not finding anything. And here's Mahoney taking it off now. There's Peterson. Trying to take it up center court right now. Blomman has the ball, making a move. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, center court, Peterson for three. Oh, a little bit to the right. It's just going to let it out of bounds. Point ball, but they are not finding anything. No, they really aren't. You just can't find, can't find guys down low. Can't get shots up. It just can't, just can't seem to score. It's just rough right now for Steven Point. As they try and find something, here comes Makinen, handing it off to Moose. Bring it back up, trying to find anything right now with Buchanan. Bring it right now, driving in, step back. Thought about it. Oh, almost got a backdoor there for Desigli. Takes a mid ranger, and there's a bucket. A first one. In a little they while can find the mid range point. game though. <laughs> their their mid range is pretty hot right now. Just can't find much of anything else. Here comes the Os here comes the Oshkosh in the wing right now. The Steckbauer to move up top. There's Peterson passing it off to Borchett. Oh, back to there's a bit of a pass. Surrounded by Stevens Point defense. Is able to get anything but a foul. And it seems like they're gonna call it on the ground. If I'm correct, I could yeah, be wrong. I, it looks like Or is it gonna be no it's I a tune tune. No, definitely on the two. shot. But no, uh you know, that's the thing about this Oshkosh offense. They, they can draw fouls at will and it's it's really helping in their favor. Here is Jonah Reinsleesh. Up and good. Makes the first free throw with ease as it's 38 to 12. Then Fleece with the second free throw, and that is good. Two for two again from the free throw line. And point going up the court again is Makinen. Passing off to Buchanan on the side. 
Taking a mid-range shot and is a little short. Point just can't buy a bucket right now. And as here comes Peterson. Running up. There's Ryan Fleish. Oh, trying to find Yankees, but there's another foul. And that's going to be on Gilly. And there's nothing he can do about that. He's trying to guard a guy that's 6'8", and he can just reach over. And uh, unfortunately, that's just not working for the pointers. They're just trying their best to stop them. Any means necessary, and it's just not working. As po Look at a foul. It's 6 to 1 right now. There's a, here comes another timeout. It's just, it's everything is going Oshkosh right now. Yeah, no doubt about that. And, um, you know, looking at some other scores around the conference, uh, men's basketball, lacrosse up 20 to 10 over River Falls. Uh, Whitewater 21 11 over the Pioneers of Platteville. And uh, the, the Eau Claire Blue Golds up 68 54, left in the, or 6 52 left in the second half. They started early because I believe the uh, women's team plays right after them at uh, Stout. So, uh, interesting. You know, it, it's. It, 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 Stout wants to win this war on 94, as they call it. Uh, they're going to have to pull something out here. They actually called it? I did not, I did not know they uh, called it. Anything. It has. It helps having an inside eye to, uh, oh, to Stout. So, uh, yeah, they. this is one of the bigger games of the year for them, but uh, it's not looking Stout's way, really. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the whole season right now for Stout. It just hasn't looked their way. No, it, it definitely hasn't, especially since they have the, a lot of young talent in Aiden Shore and Brody Fox. I mean, Brody Fox is a stud. Guy scored 70 this year in a game, and he has he's been hurt for pretty much half the season. That's really that's really shown. It's it kind of shows why they're uh, they're five and 18. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's not looking good for them. But uh, now we have more pointers basketball at the more timeouts end. Yeah, it's the timeout just finishing up. We got pointers basketball. We have that stick Bauer for Oshkosh is throwing it in. That point just tries to find anything in terms of stopping on defense. Here comes Oshkosh. Passing it off over there. That is Borchette. Stack Bauer again having it in the wing. Down deep. Try to find Stickflish and found it. Borchette with the ball up top. Taking the three right there. Stack Bauer. And that is good for three. Another three pointer for Oshkosh as that makes it a 42 to 12 lead. And here comes the pointers, passing it off to Moot to make it in up top. Making a bit of a move, there's Genrich. Another mid-range shot, short, as Oshkosh grabs the board. And there's Thomas, taking it up the wing, passing it off to Plamen. Oh, thought about, thought, uh, that is a uh, Borchette. Thought about taking a three there, it's not going to. Makes a move. Finds Gunnick in the paint and he's gonna score for two. Gun great pass there. Just strong finish there from Gunrick as it makes it another <laughs> another Titans bucket. Try to point though, trying to come fast down the court, trying to find anything. They just gotta make anything yeah. to just just score at least once. Here comes Genrich passing it off to making in. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Genrich with three in the corner, and that's gonna be out of bounds. And there's another turnover for Stevens Point. If they want any shot at just getting anything on the board, they gotta limit those turnovers. And uh, I mean, it, it was a good attempt by Gendrick. He just was a little too close. That's true. And here comes Mahoney, bringing it up for Oshkosh. Passing off the board skirt. Passing it back to Mahoney. In the paint right now. Gives it to Thomas, drives in, finds board skirt, and scores again. Oshkosh is scoring at will right now against Stevens Point. It makes it a 46 to 12 lead. And they're definitely not letting up, which. Uh, and they're calling, and that's going to be another timeout for Stevens Point. They're oh. not letting up tonight, and I, yeah, I, I don't blame them. You know, you want to make a statement tonight and uh, maybe make a case of moving up in the rankings, but, uh, you know, they want to they wanna be ready for this NCAA tournament. They want to be ready for the WIAC tournament. They, I mean, they're looking good tonight. Oh, they're looking good is an understatement, honestly. <laughs> Like I said, it's 46 to 12 right now. Point just can't buy a bucket. Oshkosh is scoring at will. Everything's just not looking pointers right now. Definitely not. And I, I'm not saying this could go to 100 points, but uh, yeah, there's a good, there's a good chance. We're almost <laughs> at 50, and there's only 6:02 left in this first half. You're right. Absolutely right. 
And if things just keep going that way, it, we might have. Might, Hunter might be the least of our concerns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Point is going to take possession here. And you just try and find any sort of offense. You, you just got to score a bucket to try to keep yourself in this, but uh, it really isn't working for them tonight. Yep, all right. Here's Genrich passing it into making in. And here comes making it That's how we have Peterson now in for point as well. There's Genrich trying to drive in. Peterson open on the wing, but is he able to find him? The defense boxes around him. Genrich again finds Warden. Able to find anything that's a bucket. Point desperately needed that one. Without question, they really needed just one bucket to give themselves some happiness here. <laughs> <laughs> True, give, give, try to give them just a little bit of constancy. That, okay, you, seeing the ball go through the net can mean a lot. Yeah, exactly. It's Mahoney. Fake it. Thought about shooting a three right in his face. Isn't going to do it. Here comes this Thomas for three. It's just a little off as Point gets a stop. Could lead to something. Here comes making in. Stevens Point driving in, takes a floater, and it's gonna be off by just a bit. It just seems like that's just gonna be the case. It's just been the case for Point. Because if you're off by a little bit, here comes Mahoney for Oshkosh driving in. The defense gets his own rebound short again, though, as Point gets another rebound. And there's Tim just getting surrounded by Oshkosh defenders. And there's Warden passing it off to Tim. Finds Genrich in the wing. Fakes it. Genrich again for three from the wing. And that's good! First three-point basket for the pointers. And that's a big one right there. Yeah, without question, to put themselves down by... Th 29. Yeah, yeah, that's... Hey, <laughs> any bucket will do. Fact. Oh, just bullying his way down there. And that's the, that's how it's going to work for tonight for the pointers. They just got to gotta stay strong down low and uh, limit the falls now. That's true. Trying anything is a big substitution. You got a lot of players right now for Oshkosh subbing in. I mean, why not? You got a, you got a lot of guys on the bench that can they can play, and uh, they're definitely not letting up. You're absolutely right. Got board shirt right now for Oshkosh shooting two. The shot is up. Not gonna make it. Oh, it was one and one. Sorry, that was bonus. My fault. I thought they were gonna call him a shooting foul. They called him on the ground. So here comes make it in. Right now for Stevens Point. Gonna get maybe a bit of a run going. Genrich. Just try to it. find something. Yeah, Genrich passing it back to make it in. Back to Genrich. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Step back, finds Tim five. That's three seconds left, gonna take a long two, he's gonna find it. And that's a bit of a run now for Stevens Point. They really need that going right now. They just need a few more to keep themselves somewhat close. Yeah. You hope. You hope so, that's always the dream. Right here, comes to Oshkosh, finds a good pass, but gets stolen by Genrich. Good move there, good spin. As transition offense gets slow it down a little bit. Defense just came running back as fast as they could. Peterson on the wing, passing it to make it. It is a three. Deep three. And that is not gonna be it. Oh, the box out right there. From Townsend, just sending Tim back. That's gonna be Oshkosh ball, there's Mahoney. Taking it around. Find Borchette, what a pass there. And that's just an easy bucket. It's just Oshkosh passing has been really good this game. Yeah, no oh, question about it. Yeah, they, they find guys that are, you think won't be open, but they are. That's just, that's just so size of a good offense. And here comes Pearson on the wing, driving in. I think a bit of a mid-range shot, it's gonna be good. That's, that's Ryan Peterson for Stevens Point. And here comes the Titans for shirt. Keeping it himself, trying to drive him, driving himself past those a little wild. And that's gonna be Pointer's ball. Yeah, the Pointer's definitely needed that, but uh, you know, they're kinda on this run a little bit. And yeah, I, I, it's looking better. Yeah, I, I mean, any bucket will do really for this team. And uh, looks like some substitutions. Yep, got a few coming in. From what it seems like we have Van Callister's in, Buchanan. Uh, Moots. And yeah, Moots as well, yeah. yes. And here comes Buchanan, bring it up the court. Van Kalsker comes from cutting in, giving it back to Pearson for three. Oh, and it's short. Good, sh good look there from Pearson. Hey, it's just wasn't able to get it. Hey, you just got to hit that. Gosh, there's a pass there coming in from Ryan, Ryan Fleish. Passing it back up top. There is Peterson for Oshkosh. Plamen driving in is able to find anything. 
Passing it back out to nine seconds left on the shot clock. Mahoney driving in, that's gonna be a foul. That's two shots for Oshkosh. They're really good at drawing these fouls tonight. I mean, <laughs> my you're, gosh. You're right. Uh, that's number eight for Stevens Point. And that's gonna be two shots for, uh, for Oshkosh. And that's gonna be Mahoney on the line. First shot, gets ready. That's good. First shot is good from Mahoney. All right, second shot up and good. Another perfect trip to the line for Oshkosh. That, yeah. That's just a credit to the free throw shooting. I mean, yeah, free throw. If you're if you can make free throws, you're gonna have a good time. Here comes Genrich cutting in his boots. He's able to find a Van Kalsker though driving in. Finds boots on the wing. He's gonna play a bit of his own defense right now. Peterson from the corner. And that's good for Peterson. He definitely needed that. Peterson's been huge off the bench right now for Stevens Point. That's a big bucket there. And here comes Oshkosh. There is Townsend. Passing it over to the corner is Peterson. Finding nobody right now. This time. This Stickbacher, right now passing it to Plum and taking a deep three contested. He's just gonna make it like that. He's, he's just like that sometimes. Yeah, definitely. That that's a tough shot to take, and uh, he shows he can make it. Yeah, that is insanely impressive. Oh, and almost, almost gets. Oh, gets that's tipped off. Yes, tipped off right now is Genrich. On the wing right now is Moots taking a shot. That's good for two. Zach Moots, the senior. They can hit those mid-range tonight. If they can just turn that into threes, it could, it could really help them. You know, get a couple more stops. I think things are going to be looking good. The heat check. That was definitely a heat check right there for Plotman. Oh, that ball gets tripped up. No foul, and it's going to be a timeout. Like a timeout. Yes. Hey, why not? Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, not a good turnover that's to have. And, uh, in it's the closing minutes. Exactly. Especially, we only have a little over one minute left in uh Quick update for UWSP women's basketball, 29-16 uh, Oshkosh uh, up in the second quarter. Uh, 2.31 left in the second quarter in Oshkosh. It's it's not as close, it's not as uh, far not away as, as, yeah. They're coming back a little bit. I mean, it, it's somewhat close there <laughs> instead of here, but uh, you know, you only hope for, you only hope for the best for both teams and- uh, Of course. Yeah, I mean, granted, you know, both seasons kind of been on a downswing since the uh, after winter our break. winter break yeah. here. So um, we yeah, only hope for the best in the tournament. I was saying, it's important to mention, I guess, for UWSP, the men's team at least, they started four, 7 4 before winter break. Afterwards, they've been 3 and 10. Not something you want to have. No, especially after, yeah, especially after a big break like that. I, I'll say, even though even though we seem a, a, a little bit negative right now, we're still massively impressed with this point of the team. They oh, no question well. about it. And we. Back at it again, passing it in. Is Bort shut? Oh, it just fakes it. Oh, he's able to get an easy bucket. Great pass, great fake. That's gonna be another easy bucket for Bort shirt. Here comes Coleman up top. Trying to see if they get a bucket off, see if they can maybe get last possession. Here's Buchanan. Passing off. Oh, and that's gonna be off of Bort shirt, and that's gonna be pointer's ball. A good tip there, but just no point. You gotta you got hope that point. Tries to get off soon, see if they can. See if they can maybe get last position, but at this point, just try to get like a bucket. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Van Kalster seems to shift a little bit at the end. There's Peterson for three. Oh, a little short. And there's a boy. It seems like it's going to be last possession for Oshkosh. See if they can possibly extend this to a 30 plus lead. But here is Plomin passing it over to Steckbauer. Back to Plomin over near the wing. 12 seconds left. Nine. Going to Bauer. Good defense here by Coleman. Oh, but it's going to drive in. Fell off a little bit. There's a bucket. It's going to be off. And that is going to be the end of the first half for here at Bennett Court in Plant Field House. The score currently UW Oshkosh 55, Stephen Point Pointers 26. And that was all Oshkosh. No question about it. I mean, they really, they can drive the bucket. They can hit a three. They can. They can score at will. They can play really good defense and draw fouls. That's the reason why they're, not, they're, they're, they're the Wyack regular season winners. They, they've won, they already they've clinched the regular season, but they're not laying their foot off the gas at all. No question about it. And, uh, all right. 
hopefully the pointers could do something in the second half. Hey, you know, usually your know, points strong strong suit hasn't been the second half. Maybe things will turn around this game. All right, we will be back after this halftime. We're just gonna take a bit of break, listen to some music here on WWSP. See if your only alternative. We thank you for listening, and we will be back.
welcome back to Bennett Court here at the Quant Field House in Stevens Point as we're coming back for the um, basketball game versus from the UW Oshkosh Titans versus the UW Stevens Point Pointers. So Brody, we got a couple minutes left before the uh, second half starts. Uh, let's run. Let's run down some first half stats. Quick stats here from Brody Kupski here. Uh, so <laughs> it's pretty much been all UW Oshkosh in the first half and still showing out um so uh you know let's just get uh, start, I, for, my, for me personally just get started with the first field goal percentage because that is kind of ridiculous you have so from what i'm seeing of right now oshkosh shot 60 percent from the field and was 21 and 35. yeah that that's just insane out of them and uh their leading scorer uh quinn steckbauer uh with 13 uh eric peterson with 11 and levi borscher with 10 and it's they've been showing out tonight they i mean they can hit the three they can uh they can match up down they, low they and do they anything. can they can make their free throws and uh on the pointer side though i mean 12 for 29 41.4 percent from the field uh two for 10 from three and haven't shot a free throw i haven't got to the line yet so uh and their leading scorer just uh, ryan peterson actually with five points kind of coming in there towards the end of the first half uh, off the bench uh really showing out and uh couple guys Josiah Gilly and Zach Moots both with four and Brennan Tim with four uh, so it's it's not pretty for the pointers but uh you know what's to expect this is a tough Oshkosh team yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right As you said, Oshkosh is ranked 17th right now in the nation and it's just been you know, they're showing why they're, they are ranked 17th they're exactly all oh, right so coming in for Steve's point so what I guess my thing is I know it's kind of hard what are you looking for? What are you looking for from them? Just, half? just try to make the most of the second half, especially with uh, going against a team like this. It's going to be tough, but uh, you know you got to make the most of it. Try to score some buckets. Try to, try to come back in this game. Obviously, it's going to be tough to come back being down almost uh, 30 points uh, coming into the second half. But uh, just, try, just try to make the most of it. Yeah, I agree. And you know, I'm, I'm expecting from this. I'm expecting uh, Jake Buchanan to start heating up a little bit. Uh, it's you know he hasn't scored a single time this game. That's a big thing that I'm noticing is that Jake Buchanan just hasn't scored. So I'm hoping to see a little more from him and just see how, just see how much you can try and limit this offense. Hey. I think you have a possibly a score yeah. update. Quick stats are quick score update. Uh, UW Eau Claire beats Stout 82 to 66 in men's basketball. Uh, I'm just not a close one after a while. Uh, start or second half starting here for Whitewater, 43 over the Pioneers of Platteville in 35. Uh, lacrosse 39 to 24 for men's basketball, and then uh, women's basketball side, uh, UW Oshkosh up 38 to 16 at the start of the third period. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you for those updates, Brody. As we get started for the second half here in Stevens Point as we have AJ making it, taking it up top. And Ryan Pearson actually getting the nod here for the second half to see if he, if he can continue his streak. Ryan Pearson thought about taking a three there from the wing. Instead, he's going to drive in, finds making it again, starting it himself. Finds Josiah Gilly in the paint. It's going to be a nice bucket there. That's a there. good bucket by Gilly. And, uh, good way to get down low. That's a great start here for Osh uh, for Stevens Point. And here comes Oshkosh. Well, I'm in, giving it over to Steckbauer. There's Peterson driving in a little bit. Board shirt, passing it back to Peterson. Gives it to Plomin up top. Here go Borchette near the paint again. Eight seconds left on the shot clock, however. There's Plomin on the wing, taking a contested three. It's gonna be short, but there's a rebound there from Ryan Felice. Oh, I feel like I'm butchering that name again. And I mean, it's Plomin. tough. It, it's a tough name. You know, it, 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 those are those hard moments. And here's Ryan Felice going up top two. Second good back to Peterson. Finds Bort shirt down in the paint. Five seconds left on the shot clock. There's a Ryan Felice taking a corner. It's going to be short again, but another rebound. And that's going to be a loose ball foul on Steven Point. Those rebounds are killer. Yeah, they definitely are, especially to a tall team like Oshkosh. You know, pointers kind of have that uh, size disadvantage to their way. Um, but uh, you got to make the most of it. Yeah, I, I remember you mentioned that size was a big part of the, the pregame of the starting lineup. They're just, just making the difference. Oh, it's going to go off the foot of Ryan Felicia. That's going to be pointers ball. A very fortunate turnover. Yeah, it definitely helps them there, and uh, hopefully they can get a bucket here. Absolutely. And making this game taken up for Stevens Point. There's Buchanan up in the wing. Be a pass. Quick move there, Buchanan. 
Moots find Moots in the mid, uh, in the mid, the free throw line, make it in for three, and that's good for three and point off to a quick 5-0 run. Bang. Hey, that's what we're hoping for. Yeah, we're that's keep, keep what more can you ask for? <laughs> Absolutely, especially after that start. Here comes Oshkosh. There is Borchert passing off to Ryan Fleish. Going up top is Peterson. Trying to find anyone right now, but the defense right now for point really quite solid. Here's Plowman all the finds Pearson near the bench. You know, paint is going to be a nice, easy bucket for Peterson. And here comes Buchanan, though, trying to go as that quick pace that Oshkosh is currently known for. And they pass it off to making it up top. Zygilly sizes it up Ryan Fleish. Trying to drive in right now. They will drive in. Oh, it's a good look, but gets on its own rebound. It is a possible jump ball or foul. It's going to be called a jump ball. With possession arrow favoring Oshkosh, which will be Oshkosh ball. As we have a substitution for Stevens Point. Miles Coleman in for Zach Moot. It's a good look down low for Gilly, but it's kind of tough going against a 6'8 uh, guy like uh, Ryan Fleisch. Facts. There's absolutely right. Here comes Peterson. You know, sizing up Coleman right now in the paint. Picks pocket, though. That's going to be a turnover. And here comes Peterson. And here comes Stevens Point. Almost bobbed it a little bit, but keeps possession of it. Josiah Gilly passing off to Buchanan. Drives in, finds Gilly again. Makes a move, goes down there, and that's going to be a bucket for Stevens Point. Good start right now for Point. Yeah, definitely. They really needed that, especially after that first half, but uh, it's looking good for them. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Here comes Ryan Fleish passing it down there for Bort Shirt. And it's going to be, again, an easy bucket there for Bort Shirt. He's just been dominant in the paint this game. Just got that size advantage over Peterson there. Yeah, absolutely right. Here comes Buchanan trying to do something himself. It's Josiah Gilly from mid range. Josiah Gilly has been the guy. The, for pick it, point. the pick and roll this second half has been working for him. The last two buckets off pick and roll. You're absolutely right. And here comes the Titans, and that's going to be out of bounds. Last off of Stevens Point. A yeah, good start right now. Yeah, I'd say a much better start. You definitely need that, especially if you want to keep it somewhat close there. It, it, it's looking good for the pointers right now, but uh, you know we got it. a lot of time left, so absolutely you just need to keep it up. If they can keep this up, I think this thing might get a lot, a lot closer real quick. Looks like we, uh, it looks like uh, an McKinnon's injury, or yeah. McKinnon's shoe must. Uh, oh, I must. Oh, never mind. <laughs> looks like his shoelace must, uh, I don't know, broke or something. So uh, Moots checks in for him. That's a. Uh, oh, see, I didn't know. I just saw a shoelace go up. Oh, and there's Fortshire sure, trying to lob it in. It's gonna be foul and one. They are so good at that. It's just that size advantage that he has over Peterson. I mean, Fortshire sure, is, I mean. He's just tall and physical, and it's, just, it, it's a shame for Peterson. He's trying his best. There's not, yeah, it, at, at some point, it's like you can, you can try your best, but height just catches it, up to you in the end. Exactly. All right, you have Borcher on the line for Oshkosh shooting one. It's going to be a little long, but that's a rebound. That's going to be a four-point. Oh, oh, but get Ryan Fleish with another rebound. Oh, a pick. Miles Culver with a pickpocket, and that is a very – Oh, an unconventional way to get the ball back after a free throw, but hey, we'll take it. Here comes Coleman, passing up to Pearson, up top. Here comes Moot. Finding Coleman on the corner for three. Oh, that's short, and that's gonna be a loose ball foul on, uh, it seems like Josiah Gilly. I mean, he, 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 might, for him. he may have gotten a little sh uh, shove on him, but uh, I don't know, that was, that's kind of a tough call to make, but uh, you know, Oshkosh is really good at drawing these fouls, so. Yeah, it seems like it, because that's already three on Stevens Point, as Oshkosh takes it up the floor. Gives it to Ryan Fleish, passing it over to Peterson. Bring it up the, up the court, there's Plowman in the wing. Miles Coleman gets getting up on him, makes a good move, and it's just short, and that's going to be, oh, that's a little suspect right there. I thought that was gonna be off of Boris shirt, but it seems like that's going to, the ref, Obviously, seen some different than us up here on the second floor here, but <laughs> you know, yeah, those are the calls that they make. I'm not, I'm not the one roughing. You don't see me wearing those those uh, shirts. And it's gonna be a three from. Oh man, it's gonna be a three from Stick Powers. A little off, and here comes Stevens Point. Coleman taking it up the floor. And it bounce back around the perimeter. Finds Peterson. Peterson trying to make a move. Passes off the Moots. Coleman in the wing. Thought about taking a three, he's gonna take a long two and says gonna drain it. Good shot there from Miles Coleman. Yeah, the mid-range game is really showing off for the pointers tonight. Yeah, sometimes you know, you sometimes you just need the buckets. Exactly. They really need it tonight. Yeah. Here comes Steckbauer. That's gonna be another foul for Stevens Point. 
Oshkosh are so good at taking fouls. Yeah, definitely. They really, I mean, in the first half alone, there was, uh, it looks like, eight fouls in total for the uh, Titans. But uh, for, our, for our guys there, it looks like, uh, actually, I might be wrong about that. But, uh, you know, a timeout here at uh, Quan Fieldhouse. So, uh, you know, looking at some stats around the WIAC, uh, or some scores around the WIAC, it looks like uh, 43 to 37, Whitewater over Pioneers of Platteville. Uh, and 39-26 for lacrosse over River Falls. And uh, also, women's basketball, 47-18 oh. in Oshkosh. Uh, kind of similar to this game right now, but uh, it, it, it's almost just like the point is women's basketball and men's basketball are kind of similar. No, we right. kind of talked about that. Yeah, definitely, I've, I've noticed this a lot, is that what the women's and men's team here at Seaman Point, they're, what they're different at, they're just so similar at as well because with the with the women's team, they're really good in the paint. They're really good at just getting down in the paint and scoring. However, they're not that good of a, of a, a three-point shooting team, and that it causes their downfall sometimes. For the men's team, it's the exact opposite. They're honestly really solid at both mid-range and the perimeter shots, but they have almost zero paint presence, and that leads to their downfall. And they both are having a really hard time closing games. So it, when they're similar, it's kind of showing so right different. now too. And uh, they, they just can't seem to get down low and uh, draw some fouls. And um, but their shooting is the mid-range game the tonight is looking really good. Uh, but they got to try to draw some fouls here and maybe have a shot. Yeah, absolutely. All right, shooting two for Oshkosh is going to be Steck Bauer. First shot up and good. You know, another big thing right now, Oshkosh has just been able to shoot free throws. Point hasn't. Yeah, exactly. Second shot right now. The Steck Bauer is getting rattled in, and that is good. I think as you said that, the pointers haven't been to the free throw line tonight at all yet. No, they haven't. It's only been Oshkosh. That's a big key right there as the Steck Bauer actually gets subbed out for Genrick. And Miles Coleman's going to try to make a move. A floater is short, tries to get stone rebound. Is not going to get it. Try to get a little bit of a mid-range, isn't able to get it as here comes Oshkosh. Give it up to Borchett. And here's Mahoney passing it over to Gunnick. Finds Borchett again, doesn't hand it off. Did it ha We're trying to hand it off right now to Gunnick, but isn't able to find him. Says goes over to the corner for Thomas. Driving in, and that's gonna be another foul. Just oh, can't man. reach in like that, and it's that's what's kind of costing them, you know, trying to stop the drive there. But, uh, you know, for the pointers, they got to limit these falls. I mean, it's already four falls in this f or second half with 13 or 15.05 or 15.03 left in this oh, second shot half. Like six free throws already. The free throws is up, and that's Thomas misses the first free throw, though. Okay, th they were really good at shooting free throws in the first half. Yeah. Honestly, not as good this one. Seems like they're overall at two and five currently as the second one is up. And it's gonna be absolutely pure. And here comes Point. Miles Coleman gonna take it out for Steven Point, pass it off to Gunrich. Here comes Moot, making a bit of a step back move. Trying to find anything. There's Tim in the corner. Tim not really know for three points here. Pass it off Moot up top. And that's good for three. That's Big huge out of the there. senior. Absolutely massive. Brings Point down to 24. And you know, that still, still seems like a lot, which it is, but that's it, much better from what they were at halftime. Yeah, definitely. All right, here comes Oshkosh. Here's Bork shirt. Pass it over to Mahoney in the wing, beating Coleman. Oh, it seems like multiple. Oh, they're going to say it's a foul on the floor. I thought there was multiple steps there, but that could just be me as well. I mean, a lot of guys are grabbing in on him and trying to grab the ball, and it's, it's kind of tough for the pointers. It, I mean, I, I get you're trying to get after the ball, but it's – you gotta stop, li you gotta limit those fouls. I mean, exactly. we've got five fouls. <laughs> it's, it's looking very similar to, oh, there's a game that we called it. I think it was like women's basketball versus Whitewater. The main reason why Whitewater was able to come back in the game was they just drew fouls and got to the line. And with a solid free throw shooting team like Oshkosh, that's gonna be the downfall for Steven Point. As they pass it into Mahoney, finds Peterson in the wing. He's able to get anything though. 13 seconds left on the shot clock, for shirt. Right into the corner is Thomas for three. And that's good for three. That is Carter Thomas, the freshman from Nina. That Nina team last year was so good. And they won the state championship. And here comes Steven's point. There's Zach Moot driving in. Trying to take himself. That's one. 
That's huge for the senior for senior night here for uh, Zach Moots and uh, Isaac uh, Wolfer too. Yes, as an and one first first time point has gone to the line this game. That's crazy to think about. Yeah, this is. I mean, we're we've got 13:58 left in the second half, and they they finally made it to the line now. Yeah. First shot from Moose. It's gonna be just gonna get a nice bounce there. It's good. Right. That's a classic three-point play right there. Here's Mahoney. Finds Borchert in the corner right there for three. It's gonna be a bit long, but Borchert with the rebound. He's gonna try and sizing up Tim right now. He's gonna take it up himself. It's gonna be rattled in and good. Again, those those second chance points has been huge for Oshkosh. Yeah, no doubt about it. Here comes making it in, driving it himself. That's gonna be a foul. Just drew a lot of contact there, and hey, it worked. A yeah, they, foul. they definitely need to just keep drawing these fouls and uh, maybe get to the line more off of it. Yeah, see your point? Hasn't been that great of a free throw shooting team, honestly, but going to the free throw line is better than not. I exactly, and it's a pass that you gotta work on, but uh, they can lead them a lot more points. Facts, that is absolutely true. And here comes Zach Moot getting the inbound right now. Going up himself, here's Genrich for three. That's good, it's gonna rattle in, and Steven Point off to really good, like we said earlier, Steven Point is really solid from the three-point line. Yeah, definitely, they have been shooting really well in the second half here. Yeah, much better than the first half. Passing it over to Gunnick. Take it up himself, and it's gonna be good. It just seems like they can get those points at will, almost. They definitely can. And here comes making in for Steven Point. Passing it over to it looks like, oh, falling over a bit. Oh, man, there's Gunnick from three, Gendrick from three on the corner, and that's good. It seems like you're trying to maybe get a little bit of a flop there, honestly. See if they give it that call for a push off, but hey, it allowed Gendrick to get open for a corner three, and he's currently two for two from the three point line. Yeah, that's huge out of him, and uh, hopefully they can continue this and hit more threes and uh, make it somewhat of a close game, but. Uh, Good passing there, especially off that little flop there. If they just keep on passing it and find those open guys, a lot more buckets can happen. Absolutely. You know, I'm liking, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Stephen Point team this half, honestly. You know, it's going being down, I think it was like 29. That's a hard thing to do, but they're showing a lot of fight, especially against this nationally ranked team that is Oshkosh. Yeah, definitely, without question. And it's, it's really helping them in their case of, you know, Making a decent run at the uh, Wyack tournament. Obviously, Point probably has no shot at <laughs> making the NCAA tournament, but hey, you, know, you hey, never really hey, know. Hey, after last year, baby steps, baby steps. You're yeah, right. This is it. Really, is baby steps, and uh, yeah, obviously, you've got to be happy with this Pointer season. Absolutely. You make sure you're listening to WWSB Seven Point Ninety FM, your only alternative, and SBTV's YouTube channel. Thank you for listening in as we get back to some more Pointers basketball. Mahoney with the fake. Oh, that's a good fake there. And that's an easy bucket for Mahoney. Buchanan really carbon there. To, yeah, Buchanan trying to take things quick. You know, try, taking a page out of Oshkosh's book right now. Trying to catch him a bit off guard. Here comes making a long two. Oh, it's gonna be a get a board though. Oh, it seems like they collide in midair, yeah. two pointers. Courts and Warden just got in each other's ways and oh. Oh, almost had a turnover there, but again, just get, it seems like they're just getting in each other's way right now. Yeah, they just gotta they gotta just gotta slow down and keep it cool, guys. We got a lot of time left. Yeah, it's still 12 13 left to go. That's that's a, that's a crazy thing. A lot has happened, it's still 12-13 left to go. It's a three, and that's good from Gunnick for Oshkosh, and Oshkosh's three-point success just continues. There's a move from Buchanan, driving in, taking it up himself, passes it over to Makinen. Makinen back to Buchanan. Oh, trying to get a reverse, that's good. That's a first bucket for Buchanan, it's a, it's a big one for him. Yeah, definitely not, not a three-point shot that you expect him to take, but uh, any bucket will do. Especially when you're struggling, you haven't seen one go in. That's just huge. And here comes Plamen, passing it over to a board shirt. Taking himself against Warden, and that's gonna be a foul on Warden. And that's that's just bad placement right there. That's just yeah. bad place, bad place, wrong place, wrong time. There, there, there's not much you could do about that. And it looked like board shirt kind of just fell down on the ball, and I mean, Warden, Barely touched the guy and uh, just not going the point his way in terms of fouls. I mean, six to two. They've been, they've been struggling right now in terms of fouls. Gives it over to Plumman in the corner. 
Plumman driving in himself. He's gonna take it up and that's good. It's a good bucket. Plumman just doing everything right now for Oshkosh. Here comes Buchanan. Driving in himself. That's Warden over, handing it off to Buchanan again. Strike by Warden down and low. A little strong, and that's going to be another stop. Oh, it's close. They're able to always get it back, but that's going to be another stop for. And then here's my Holy driving in, and that's going to be a foul. Oh, my goodness. They're just drawing fouls at will. Hey, Warden down there, he, he has to just finish that, but... uh. I, they got to limit these falls, like I said before. I, I can keep saying it. They just got to limit these falls. I mean, Oshkosh is already in bonus. Uh, it's already in bonus. We're not even. We're not even halfway <laughs> done with the second half, and they're already in bonus. <laughs> Here comes Mahoney for two free throws, and the first one is good. Big change right now for Steven Twine on the court. We have Zach Moots, Josiah Gilly, and er uh, Miles Coleman going in for Buchanan, uh, Genrich, and Warden. And here comes Ryan Pearson for the freshman Blake Courts as well. Second free throw coming up for Mahoney. And that's good. That's going to be 80 points already for Oshkosh and we're back to up 29. And here comes Stephen Point with Moots taking the ball up. Making a move. Oh, driving in. Seems like almost got something. Pearson for three. Oh, and that's a bit strong there. I could just tell from here that's just, just a bit off. Yeah, definitely. Got it. Take it to three, that's Peterson. Oh, way off. Not even close, that's an air ball. And here comes Coleman. It doesn't really matter though, when you're already up 29. I mean, yeah. Air leads to your yeah. concerns. And here comes Peterson up the corner again. Taking it up, that's making in for three. And that's good. Three point shot by making in. Definitely need those threes. Oh, absolutely. They just need the these, these shooting. It's going, going really well for Stephen Point. Passing over to Mahoney, Mahoney up top. Have to get back to Plavin, fakes it a bit, drives in instead of floater. Oh, and it rattles off the wrong way. That's gonna be a board for Gilly. That's gonna be another opportunity for Stevens Point to try and cut this lead down a little bit. As here comes Moots. Andy Peterson hang it off to making him. Back to Moots in the corner. Coleman with the ball driving in. Trying to find himself. Trying to make a move himself. Find Peterson on the wing. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Three from Moots. It's a little strong. That's going to be another board for Oshkosh, another empty possession for Stevens Point. Here comes Mahoney. Oh, tried to find another back door, but Moots with a good hand. Able to get a steal, and, and here comes Stevens Point on transition offense with making it, passing it over to Gilly. Gilly from mid-range. Oh, and a, a little off as well. They're just sl ever so slightly off right now from the field. And here's Mahoney. Oh, that's going to be an offensive foul on Oshkosh. Just, uh, uh, the illegal, illegal screen, yeah. I think. Uh, it's a tough screen to uh, get around for the pointers, and uh, they'll take that. They Absolutely. really take that. Every time, you'll take that. Yeah, Oshkosh already has two more fouls than they did the entirety of that first half, so. <laughs> they doing a better job at drawing some fouls, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Os here comes Stevens Point, uh, making and taking it up. Here comes Coleman. Pearson cutting in, not able to find anything, though. Can they get, oh, no, it, it failed handoff. And Coleman just trying to look around, see what's up. Oh, and there's a bad pass, though. And that's going to be off of Coleman. Just a lot of chaos there. It looked like a, just a sloppy football team. A bad handoff, bad pass. <laughs> I mean. yeah, from both teams, too. Yeah, that, that's something you wouldn't expect out of the, from especially Oshkosh. Oshkosh. Yeah, no, quick passing, though. Give it over to Plowman. Passing over there is a Ryan, Ryan Fleish. Yeah, kids don't <laughs> rebound, though. At that height, you can do whatever you want. Exactly. When you're 6'8", I mean, it's just a quick reach and you got it. Absolutely, here comes Coleman on the wing. Driving up himself, Gellis gets pickpocketed though and Coleman's just having, just struggling right now with the ball. He's getting pickpocketed left and right. Almost, Plowman, oh with a deep three in his face and it's gonna be a little off. Oh, oh wanted to look for a loose ball foul there a little bit. but Yeah, Peterson trying to find it. it there. It looked like he got up in his face a little bit. But might have hit him. Didn't see it. And there's another three and that's good, that is Quinn Steckbauer, and oh my goodness, a missed, maybe possibly a missed call, led to an Oshkosh three-pointer as it's 85 to 40. Uh, 54 actually. 54. No, I said 85 to 54, that's my fault. It Thank almost you. feels Thank like you, that. Brody. It missed. almost feels like that. Uh, three from Moot is good. 57 to 85 now. 
Oh, man. Pointers will take that. Absolutely. <laughs> Every time. You just try your best to just stay in this half. And they've been playing well since those first half has just come back to haunt them. Here comes driving up a little bit. That's going to be a foul. That's going to be on Moots. Moose looks it, a little hurt there in his arm. He does. His hand kind of shaking around. Yeah, Townsend just drove up on him. That's going to be a, seems like a media timeout right now. Yeah, I'll say Moose he just came, came back from that just a little bit. A little shaking up. He's wincing a little bit. Yeah. But, um, you know, hey, I'm going to get credit to Steven Point. They're hanging in there. Yeah, I mean, you're down 85 to 57. Not, not ideal, but... Uh, you know, Again, after that first half, yeah, though, it's, it's like... It's definitely looking better. They're hitting their threes. They can hit the mid-range. They're, they're finding guys down low, and uh, they've gotten to the free throw line. Absolutely, yeah. I couldn't say it better myself. Exactly. Uh, I think the big thing right now for Stevens Point is, again, it's it's the height difference. It's it, the height difference. It's the rebounds, and it's the second-chance points. It, exactly, and getting those rebounds really will help them in the long run, but they just can't seem to find those free throws against a guy that's... Or those rebounds against a guy that's 6'8". There's a guy that's 6'5". A couple guys that are just a little bit taller than the pointers, and it's just really not helping them. But uh, looking around the Wyack, uh, 50 to 39, uh, lacrosse is over River Falls with 12:02 left in the second half. Uh, 59 to 50, Whitewater over uh, Platteville. 11:56 left in the second half, and your uh, Lady Pointers, uh, 52 to 25, just a little past uh, in the uh, fourth quarter. So. Uh, Kind of like this game going right now for each pointers team, but uh, you know, hopefully it just gets better for both sides and uh, just make a strong finish. Hopefully, absolutely. Hey, you got the Wyatt tournament as well. Last year, Point was able to make an unprecedented upset against Stout. That so, was hey, a you never know huge upset. <laughs> you never know what will happen. All right, we got. It seems like we got a one and one right now for Oshkosh. We're going to have Townsend shoot in the one and one. Last time they did it, last time Oshkosh shot one one, they did miss. So we're going to see what happens now. They've been shooting a bit worse from the free throw line this half, so maybe this is commentator's curse. I don't know. We're about to find out. There's Townsend for a free throw. No, he's going to rip out. Oh, but tipped it back. That was Borchette. Just tips it back. Here's another possession for. Here's oh, second foul was trying to get in, and that's another foul. Yeah, and that is number 10 right now for Steven Point, so that means double bonus. For that's, Oshkosh. that's not ideal, especially since we have seven and a half le minutes left in this um, yeah, you're right, second half. Oh, it might be a long. This might be a long seven and a half minutes. First free throw is good from Steck Bauer. You know, you did say before that they didn't make the one and one. It might be a commentator's curse. Hopefully, you get more one and ones, and they just keep on missing. Can't, <laughs> we can't get one and ones anymore. It's double bonus. Yeah, you're right. Another free throw <laughs> up is good from Steck Bauer. Oh, there's no more one and ones Our hope is gone. <laughs> that is a 30-point lead, 87 to 57. Oshkosh up top. Driving in is Moots. Got his own rebound. Just Misses the second chance, but Tim with the rebound. And that's going to be good for Tim. Those second chance points. Able to get a couple rebounds there, and that's big. They need those second chance points and just need those rebounds. That's the, like we said, that was a big thing that's been hurting season points, those second chance points. To see them get one, really nice. Here comes Mahoney up the right side. Going back up top is Borchert. Tim getting up in his face right now. Oh, my goodness. You have passing it off to Steckbauer, to Mahoney on the wing. Sh thought about taking a three. 12 seconds off the shot clock. Kind of messed up his dribble a little bit there. Steckbauer thought about taking it, but it's going to drive instead. That's going to be an easy bucket. Yeah, Brent Tim really not looking there to uh, uh, kind of get that backside help, but it's just not helping with the pointers right now. Yeah, it's just everything has just not been going well. This could be Tim going to take up a three. Oh, a little short. Oh, also thinking of a loose ball foul, maybe a little bit, but not going to call it at all. Here comes Mahoney driving it up, and that's an easy bucket again. Oh, my goodness, and that's going to be time a out timeout. By the Titans. Oh. Titans Interesting. Timeout. Yeah, I mean, maybe just try to get some guys in and, uh, you know, kind of cool down. I mean, it's 91 to 59 with, I mean, I mean, yeah, there's <laughs> a little less than six and a half minutes left yeah, in the second and a half, and, uh, you know, the pointers just got to make this somewhat, you, you got to score more than uh, set 60, hopefully, more than I think 70. They will. Well, you're at 59. I think I think they will do that. I guess the main issue, though, is the fact that, you know, Oshkosh is at 91, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> definitely makes been, a difference. They've just been shooting so well from the field this game. It's It's been kind of crazy how well things have been going for Oshkosh. Oh, yeah. They, they can just hit the three. They can hit those free throws, get those easy buckets in the lane and just... Uh, Make it, it's really making a difference. Just make a nightmare. And, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And uh, getting those second chance points too, like we were talking about before, they, they're really good at getting those rebounds and putting up buckets. 
You're right. I, I couldn't say it better myself. It's <laughs> and, you know, it's hard it's hard to find things to say because you know we feel like I feel like I'm saying things a lot like repeatedly and I, I don't want I don't want you guys to listen to the same thing over and over again. But it's just it's just it, how this night is going. Right? We sound like a broken like, record tonight, but it's it's just kind of how it's going tonight, fellas. And exactly. uh, you know. To all the Pointer fans out there, we're sorry that this game is not as good as <laughs> it is. We but thank, we thank you for listening here. Yeah. E if you're listening on the uh, WWSP or if you're watching over on the SPTV's YouTube channel, we thank you for taking some time watching Pointers, the regular season finale for Stevens Point. You know, seeing Brody and I trying to give give a shot here. We again thank Will. Usually, he's usually on the mic. They can do camera work. Uh, they can do the camera today as we get back in to some more basketball action here on Bennett Court as Macon and takes it up for Stevens Point. Here we go. Passing over to Moose in the wing. Moose back in. Seems like he was wincing a bit, but he's back in now. Passing off to Buchanan. As try to make a move back to Moose, driving in. Finger rolls it up, and that's good. Oh, now that's a pretty move right there. That's a tough bucket to make, especially I think his right hand is hurt too. I think so. So that's a really pretty move. Here's Thomas up top. Passing it over. Trying to make a move, that's a corner, that's Townsend. Makes a move himself. Oh, it's a little off, but that's gonna, is that a Looks like a foul on uh, it seems Oshkosh. Oshkosh. It should be, a, I think, a loose ball foul on them. So that's number four for them. Still far from bonus territory, but, you know, we, uh, you know. We're getting they're, they're there. Getting, we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. As making and takes it back up for Steven Point. Finds Tim down low. It, that's a contact, didn't call anything. There's Peterson, finds Tim again. Back, oh, that's gonna be a foul. Going to the free throw line is Tim for the only the second and third free throws for Stevens Point tonight. They'll take those, you gotta get those free throws. Absolutely. That's, so Tim on the line for Stevens Point. Tim on the season. I don't think he's been the greatest free throw. No, actually, no he's, he's actually he's, really good. He's actually, yeah, as he hits it here. He's an 84% free throw shooter. I believe Very he, impressive. before this game, he was, I want to say, fourth or fifth in the conference for free throw shooting. That's good for... Uh, and it shows. Yeah, that's <laughs> and it shows. Great shots right there. That's good to have, especially with your with the, with your big man. I think he shoots free throws. Oh, man. All right, here comes Oshkosh. You have Gunnick holding the ball. There's number 15, Joseph Adamson. First time getting in on the court this game. Driving is Townsend. Is Thomas for three. And that's good for three. It seems like they can all just shoot threes. It's crazy. Buckets are falling from. Absolutely. And here comes making it again for Stephen Point. Passing off to Moots. Moots driving in. Fading away from midcourt. And he gets a nice roll in. And just, they're just trading buckets back and forth right now. Yeah, just uh. Hopefully the pointers can make something out of this too. Yeah, here's Mahoney right now, passing it over to Thomas. Gets pickpocketed though, and they get a turn. Stephen Point gets a turnover, and here comes making in pass. We have a deep pass, and that's gonna be a foul. Looks like Gunnick just kind of reach in there, and uh, Moots kind of making a spin move there, Dre, just trying to draw a foul. Yeah, we got another freshman coming in for Oshkosh for Mahoney. That is Matt Immick. 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 That's it. Yes. Matt Emmett <laughs> coming in for yeah. Steve. Tough uh, for name. Oshkosh. It's a tough name. Sometimes it's just tough, but here comes Steve Point. Uh, Buchanan pass over to Tim on the wing. There's Peterson for three on the corner. Oh, a bit strong there. That's a little strong. Good look, but it was a little strong on the three. And here comes Oshkosh. It was right. There's Reed Gunnick. Passing over to Carl Thompson. Gets it to Townsend. Finds Thomas on the corner. Oh, and just in and out there for Thomas. Could have been another three-pointer for him, but instead Buchanan driving it down. Buchanan's been struggling tonight, but passes over to Peterson. Good drill, making it back to Buchanan. That's over to Moots. A bit of a deep three there, and that's good for three. Good shot there by Moots. Yeah, especially on a night like this where he's playing hurt and senior night. He yeah, definitely, he definitely emotion. wants to stay in. Yeah, a lot of emotion here for, for Moots tonight, definitely. Here comes Oshkosh. Oh, passes right to Makinen. Bit of a transition offense now. Takes a takes a mid-court shot near the free throw line. That's good. Make it in for two as point reaches 70. That's gonna be a timeout for Stevens Point. Bit of a run here right now. Yeah, definitely. There's it's not out of the realm of possibility that they uh, could <laughs> come back, but I don't want to get ahead of myself no, here. <laughs> uh, I don't think I have I seen crazier things? I don't think I have. But I think you know they have a chance just to try and make things 
kind of competitive, I guess. It's, it's, from what it seems like, Oshkosh right now is putting in their freshmen. They want to yeah, give them some playing time, especially at the end of the season. Because you know, when it comes to Wyak time, they are staying on that bench. Oh, no <laughs> question about it. And they're just kind of letting off the gas here just to see what their guys in the future can do. And, uh, you know, just trying to keep it cool against the pointers here. Definitely. Uh, some quick score updates. The women's basketball team for Stevens Point down 57 to 29 with a little over five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Uh, UW Whitewater men's basketball team 67 to 50 over the Pioneers of Platteville with a uh, little less than eight minutes left in the second half. And uh, lacrosse men's basketball 57 to 44 over River Falls with a little less than eight minutes left. So, uh, you know, the YX already decided, but you know, it, these seedings could matter for some of these teams. You know, they could maybe move up a seed and maybe have a home game. You know, you never You're know. Right. Yep. Absolutely right. And these home games are really huge, especially for if you if you want the most out of your uh, YX tournament experience, you want to play at home. True. That is definitely true. All right, here we back on the court now as we have Im Imig bringing it up for Ski for Oshkosh. Sorry about that. Here comes Carter Thomas. Right over to Imig. Driving in. Oh, almost loses his footing a second there. Passes it over to Adamson. Gives it back to Imig. Tries to find some. Goes baseline. Oh, and it gets swatted out there by Coleman. Good defensive possession there. But there's only about 13 seconds left on that shot clock. All right. Making another substitution right now. You have Nick Otto, the senior from Appleton coming in for, seems like, Reed Gunnick. He gets passed in right now, passes over to Imig. Imig, when they get out outside, there's Carr Thomas, thinking of taking a three, Adamson, Coleman, trying his best to get the ball back, but he isn't able to. That's gonna be another inbound play for Oshkosh with only six seconds left to go on the shot clock. It's definitely huge if the pointers can get a turnover here and uh, try, get try, try to score here. Definitely. Imig gonna inbound it for Oshkosh. Gives it to Adamson on the corner. Imig gonna have to put a shot up. Three seconds left. Oh, and du decides not to. Just randomly throws it. That's gonna be a shot clock violation. Good defense. There. Good defensive possession from Stevens Point. Yeah, pointers need something like that, and uh, hopefully this can continue all night for them. For the rest of the night. <laughs> for the rest of the night. <laughs> night. Honestly, we only got three minutes. Three minutes of game time. Time left flies. Here. Absolutely. Yeah, here comes Moot right now. Gives it over to Coleman near the right side. Trying to find Gunrick. Wasn't able to find him though. Seems like he's a little open, but. Coleman I will find down here is Josiah Gilly. Got Coleman on the wing. It's all about shooting, isn't going to. Gonna take a shot from the wing, that's good from three. Miles Coleman with a good shot there. Pure. Just clean. Absolutely. Here comes Oshkosh, you have Card Thomas bring it up. Townsend on the wing. There is number three, Nick Otto for Oshkosh. Hand it over to Imig. On the right side, in the corner, up on top, Townsend, give it over to Otto, contested three, isn't gonna get it. Oh, I'm saying, oh, it's all a bit of a, a lot of contact there, isn't able to call anything though. And there comes Stevens Point, probably taking a three, another contact, that's gonna be a foul on Oshkosh, and Stevens Point is finally in bonus with two minutes and 15 seconds left to go. They will oh, take that. yes, absolutely, and they are going to the free throw line. Moots is really looking for those fouls tonight, I mean, he's, He's banging in the guys and just trying to draw fouls, which is nice for the pointers. Definitely. All right, here comes two shots for Moot. For shot, oh, and the one and one, it just hasn't been going well for any team. That's another one and one miss for, in this game, I guess, but that's gonna be a miss for Moot. Amson hanging over to Thomas on the right side, trying to find Anderson down low. Big body is gonna get a strong two, strong bucket there. 96 points for the Titans, four away from the triple digits. He has that height advantage at 6'8". <laughs> Absolutely. Now Coleman. Up for Steven Point, Moot up top. Top of the key, almost lost his dribbling, but keeps it. There's Genrich going over to the right side. Coleman, strong pass, was able to hold it in. Nine seconds left to go in the shot clock. Now Coleman got to do something soon. Genrich is gonna drive in. Three second, one second. Oh, tough shot. That's gonna be that's gonna be a shot clock violation as that did not touch the rim at all. And tough just shot. missed. I mean you gotta you gotta try to find something there instead of passing around that True. quickly. But uh you know, yeah, this point, there's only a minute thirty left to go. Just try try your best, right? 
And it yeah. looks like uh, senior Isaac Wolfer is getting in for the pointers. You'll Fantastic. love to see it. You'll love to see it. We'll what, see what happens. Looks here. like he's taking on Moots for it too. So uh, Really? That's interesting. Yeah, but you hope you know, hope the best for Moots. You know, he's playing injured tonight and he's <laughs> <laughs> he's making the most of it. Very true. All right, Wolfer. Wolfer guarding Townsend very aggressively, able to pass it off. Here's number three. There's Otto up top. Pass it off to Emig. Emig makes a move from the free throw line. Be a little off, and Coleman gets the buck, gets the board. See if they can possibly find Wolfer here for Stevens Point. See if they can get him anything. Coleman. Wolfer passing it over to Genrich. 18 seconds left to go. There is Blake Quartz, the freshman. Wolfer gonna take a three, and it's good! Oh, what a bucket there from Wolfer. You absolutely you love, love to see, to see it. it. That is oh, huge. I agree. That's huge what out of the senior. Hey, what a moment. What yeah, a moment. What a moment. Oh, there's a timeout there from us. Hey, we didn't give this time to talk about a moment. That was a, that was pure. Yeah, that is definitely pure out of the you would love to see it out of the senior there. And uh looks like just a quick uh substitution between both teams as uh pointers bring in uh it looks like is he Shane Tarjan and uh is he Augustus, Augustus Foster. Foster. Yeah. Yes. There we go. And uh so a lot of substitutions between both teams and uh you know, that's a huge moment out of Wolfer there to hit a three like that. You're av I absolutely agree. Only about 46 seconds left to go. Here's number 22, uh, Reed Seeker for Oshkosh, and he loses the ball. Oh, and it's gonna be out of bounds on Oshkosh. It's gonna be another opportunity for Stevens Floyd to maybe, you know, give, give a couple of these maybe guys Maybe do something. Point. See if he can give these guys the first points of their career. Yeah, and just, find, uh, just find out what these guys can do and, you know, maybe, maybe for the future. Maybe, Ex I, that's exactly it. So we're gonna have number 10, Saint Shane Tartan, Inbounding it for number 22, Blake Quartz. Uh, Dylan Ruder in the game now for Gilly. Got it. Oh, good. Thank you, Brody. Here comes Stevens Point. We're going to sign number 25. That is uh, Augustus Foster. Up top is Shane Tarjan. Finds Wolfer. 16 seconds left to go. Pass me over. Oh, there's going to be a three opportunity there for Foster. And that's going to be a miss. But it gets the good heads up play there by. Blake Quartz. That's gonna be the, seems like the last possession of the game. Wolfer for three. Oh, oh, a little short. Eight seconds left to go, and it seems like they're just gonna hold it out. And that is gonna do it here at Stevens Point. The final score: UW Oshkosh 96, UW Stevens Point 76. Well, that was definitely a, a, a very high scoring game. Yeah, definitely, especially since that first half, it really was going Oshkosh's way, but they kind of let off the gas there and uh, let Stevens Point kind of back in it. And uh, it's a good end to uh, senior night for Zach Boots. I mean, he had a pretty solid game, and Wolfer getting in Wolfer right at, able right at to the get end. His, exactly, Wolfer able to hit a really nice three on senior night. We'll wait a little bit, we're gonna get some stats for you guys to finish up this game. Just gonna hang tight for a bit, you got some Final final score updates for these lovely people at home. So some quick score updates. It looks like 64-35 UW Oshkosh women's basketball over Stevens Point at Oshkosh with just a little over or a little less than two and a half minutes left in the fourth period. Uh, <laughs> period quarter. Uh, hockey's on. Got, hockey's on the brain. You got hockey on your <laughs> mind here at Stevens Point. Uh, 72 to 54 Whitewaters over the Platteville Pioneers. Uh, a little less than five minutes left in the second half. Even and, uh, I guess I went there before I transferred here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, lacrosse, 61 to 53 over Ooh. River Falls right now. So kind of getting close between those two teams, and uh, you know maybe something will happen. Who knows? But uh, you know, yeah, as, as we have hockey on the brain, you know hockey's kind of coming up soon, and uh, you know the point is being the first seed. Uh, they either play River Falls or. I would say, I yeah, I was say, so you might as well, while waiting for some stats here, we're gonna tell you what's coming up for uh, SBTV or WWSP. I know we got, um, as, as you said, Steam Point for Hockey has the one C, so they're gonna have a first round bye. So they're gonna be playing the winner of, I think you're right, is gonna be either River Falls or UW Stout. Uh, UW Stout came into the season very, like very hungry. They, they, they started off really well, I think like 8-0. Yeah, and they kind of been on a down skid as we're getting some stats right now, thanks Absolutely. to our cameraman, Will Haroldson. Oh, Will Haroldson, I love that man. So <laughs> quick stats at the end of the game, here we go. Uh, Quint Steckbauer, 
22 points to lead the uh, Oshkosh Titans and uh, Levi Borshert with 16 and uh, Eric Peterson 13 and Will Mahoney 13. Uh, for the pointers, Zach Moots, senior night, 20 points. Uh, Josiah Gillard with 10, AJ McKinnon with 10. You know, guys just showing up and uh, it, it's, it didn't really go the way of the pointers, but uh, you know, they'll take it. Absolutely. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us here from Bennett Court at the Quant Fieldhouse in Stevens Point. Um, got any last words? Hurry. I guess just thank you seniors and uh, hope the best for the WIAC tournament. Fantastic, we will see all of you uh, lovely people here. I think it's gonna be next Friday when we broadcast the uh, WIAC semifinal game from UW Stout versus, or uh, UW Stevens Point versus the winner of either UW Stout or UW River Falls. From here at Bennett Court, I'm Ashton Parker, he's been Brody Kupski, and we will see you guys next time.